the Australian High Commission to rule to Fiji, senior staff of the Australian High Commission, representatives of the Fiji Muslim League, uh, civil society organizations, invited and distinguished guests, and of course, our very much media partners. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Mula and a very, very good morning to you all. Much has been said, ladies and gentlemen, but please allow me to share uh, a short brief with you. Uh, firstly, I warmly uh, welcome the Honourable Minister to our show once again, and I trust, Honourable uh, Minister, that you will uh, enjoy your very short stay uh, here in Fiji. And uh, of course, it's a pleasure to be with you here for the launch of the Fiji Women's Fund. And this is indeed a moment for women CSOs to celebrate. And uh, it's indeed a very, very uh, happy occasion as together we will be able to take the greatest challenges of fighting for gender equality uh, forward uh, in the near future. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm, I'm more excited, probably more excited, because we've just finished up with a very, very successful National Women's Expo, which was also one of our initiatives to bring about the socio-economic empowerment of Fiji women. And uh, of course, the Fiji Women's Fund launch today is again an icing on the cake for the Fijian women. As the Minister responsible for Ministry of Women and Women, Children and Poverty Education, I wholeheartedly thank the Australian <coughs> Government for their generosity in, uh, and their contribution towards this launch. It is indeed grateful for the support towards women empowerment and to all these uh, women's organizations who are uh, uh, in part of this launch today. I must applaud and commend you for the work that you have done so far. I know you do a lot of work at the grassroots level, uh, communities that we are not able to reach as a government. And so uh, you are commended for your uh, commitment, dedication and drive to assisting the ministry and complementing the work of our ministry. And I'm sure you all will welcome the fund because um, a lot of uh, uh, CSOs that work with uh, the grassroots, I mean, are not given that support uh, support in terms of, as mentioned, resources and, and structures and stuff. So this uh, fund is definitely going to assist you and push you to work harder for the communities that you represent at the grassroots level.